do check out Project 2025. Because I'm telling you, it is a plan. It is a plan to weaken America's middle class. Project 2025, if he is elected. Um, I'm sorry. This is the reason, and it's my assertion, I could be wrong, you're never going to see her on the stage with Donald Trump. Because the second you go off prompter, the second you have to have a quick, you know, response to something you didn't anticipate, this is how she responds. because we believe in democracy. Everyone's voice matters, but I am speaking now. I am speaking now. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. Well, they know you're speaking. That's why they're heckling you. So Project 2025, look, if he is elected, Donald Trump intends to give tax breaks to billionaires and big corporations. He intends to cut Social Security and Medicare. Um, I, this is, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry, I, I, I hate breaking in because she's going to relentlessly get heckled. Well, giving tax breaks to corporations is just good for the economy. I, I, it's, it's so, do you guys remember what happened in New York when Amazon wanted to come to New York? They were gonna set up a headquarters and on some level they were really trying to be, you know, good, business neighbors. We'll set up a headquarters here and um, there will be, you know, not just the jobs from the headquarters, but all of the ancillary jobs that will start popping up. It's, it's wonderful. Do you remember what AOC said and why she was so disgusted? She said, I can't believe they're giving them a $2 billion tax uh, cut. We're paying them ten two billion dollars in taxes. It's like, wait, what? They were going to give them a tax break Be because they want their business to grow. That's the reason they were giving that deal. But her not understanding that, like most people don't, I guarantee you, the people there in that audience, they don't have a clue. They don't have a clue. Why in the world would you, why is he giving, you know, Apple a tax break? Because that's how Apple grows. Why, why are they giving these major corporations a tax break? Because you want the company to grow. You want the tax base to grow. And then you are doing it organically. Why? Because since they have no more money, they can expand business. Now, for those of you who are sitting in the back, you're probably not getting it. When you expand your business, people are now more opportunities to be employed. The, 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 it's the, one of the dumbest things ever is let's just give, you know, poor people a tax break. 
It's like, okay, well, if that's really what you believe, okay, fine. You want to give poor people a tax break? Fine. But then who are you going to take that money from? Where are you going to, you're going to take the money from the billionaires and millionaires? It's like, well, but those are the people who have the jobs. So all they're going to do is close up shop and take their business elsewhere. So you get nothing. One of the craziest things, everybody was so mad that he did those opportunity zones in black neighborhoods. Those people are just trying to exploit the black population. They're, they're, they're exploiting him. They're making, they're making millions. It's like, well, they're millionaires. They're billionaires. Yeah, they're going to be making money. That, that's why they're doing it. Because it's good business. But well, I this is this is like pe people who have never really had to read or learn anything. He intends to surrender our fight against the climate crisis and he intends to end the Affordable Care Act. You know what? If you want Donald Trump to win, then say that. Otherwise, I'm speaking. Please. See? That's why it's my assertion she will never, ever, ever be on the debate stage with Donald Trump. There's nothing. To, look, hold on a second. Do you guys remember this? Um, I think I have it here. Here you go. From NBC. Arizona governor election results. Hobbs defeats Lake. Do you know what Hobbs did to defeat her? She refused to debate Lake. Lake was begging for a debate. Begging. But Hobbs refused. Now you would think that the media would come out and say, hey, Hobbs, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta debate, debate this woman. You gotta, you gotta let her know that no, she doesn't. Look at this, look how slim the margin. She got 50.3. To Carrie Lake's 49.6. Question. What's the upside for Hobbes to do an interview or to do a debate? There's no upside. And I'm asking the same question about Kamala Harris. What's the upside? She gets to get on stage and start cackling? What's the upside? Why do you think the media is not asking her hard questions? Because they know she can't handle that. My guess is she'll probably sit down and do an interview but it won't de it won't be a real interview. It'll be, you know, a psyop with George Stephanopoulos, an actual Democrat operative. It'll it it, it would be like doing an interview with Jin Saki. In fact, it, it wouldn't surprise me if she did an interview with Jin Saki. Biden's former press secretary. George Stephanopoulos is not a journalist. That doesn't matter. Do you know who the first news organization Joe Biden went to after that disastrous debate? George Stephanopoulos. Now I'm sure that if Kamala Harris does any, any kind of interview, it will be like, you know, with George Stephanopoulos. Again, I'm just asking you, and I just, just, just stop. What is the upside for Kamala 
to debate a superior candidate. It just strip away all of the psyops that somehow, wow, this this Kamala is it's a phenomenon. It's a phenomenon. It's it's Obama-esque. No, it's not. She's just as unlikable as she always has been. She's still unlikable. That has not changed. So there, I'm, I'm telling you, just like here, where Hobbes refused to debate, Carrie Lake was demanding, begging for a debate. Hobbs says, no, no, I'm not going to debate you. And guess what her excuse was? She didn't want to give Carrie Lake a platform to spew her hatred. That was the reason. Democrats don't, because they, look, if you know that your policies are inferior, why in heaven's name would you put them out there? It's, it's kind of like the way Congress passed these bills. Hey, this, this bill's got 15,000 pages. I can't read that in a night. I can't, I can't read this in eight hours. And you know what they say? Well, we'll tell you what's in the bill once you pass it. We'll tell you what Kamala Harris is for once you know, she's in the White House. I'm telling you, there's no upside. None. <laughs> there, there's, <laughs> she cannot be on the stage with no Donald Trump. No, that can't happen. What are you going to what are you going to do when he brings up this first step act? What do you think is going to happen? Where Kamala Harris was putting people in prison, black people in prison in unprecedented levels. And Donald Trump is releasing them for nonviolent offenses. She's putting people in prison that smoke weed and then she laughed about smoking weed. What do you think? That, it took Tulsi Gabbard 39 seconds to dismantle her entire campaign. That was Tulsi Gabbard. What do you think the orange bull of Wall Street is gonna do to her? So I'm Sarah, I'm sorry. There's, there's, I'm, I'm, I will be shocked, okay, if Kamala Harris actually agrees. Okay, we'll do a debate then. And, and my guess is there's no way she does that on Fox. Well, she'll, maybe she'll do a town hall, maybe, you know, where they'll get a bunch of, you know, um, sycophants. They'll get a bunch of, you know, white liberals there. So... They'll ask her, you know, uh, difficult questions like, was it rough being an immigrant? Was it difficult being a black woman? Was it hard 